I've just put my phone on do not disturb, not do not disturb, airplane mode, which is a bit risky because my sister is pregnant and could literally have her baby any second. Like she could literally be having it right now. But we're going to a spa hotel in South Tyrol in Italy. And I'm so excited. We made it to our hotel and it is absolutely beautiful. I am so impressed with everything. So me and Jacob are here from Friday until Sunday. We are gonna get massages, we're gonna go lay by the pool, we're gonna use the sauna, yoga, Pilates, and eat yummy, healthy, delicious food. We're in the hallway and it smells divine. I forgot slippers, so I was wearing my sneakers, but they gave me these, how cute. I had a really nice time there. I also went to the sauna and it was really nice. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of footage tomorrow. Once Jacob is done getting ready, we're gonna go have dinner in the hotel. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna serve us and if it's gonna be good. We shall see. We're starting with alcohol hummus and veggie chips and like a fried salad. Bon appetit! We're sneaking into the gym. And then you come out. Everything looks so blue on the camera. Look. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a blue haze. Yeah, but even more. Oh yeah. Good morning. My hair is a mess. Jacob, show us what you have. <laughs> this is really special because I have the whole pool to myself and this incredible view of the Dolomites, unreal.
I mean, look at that. Jacob and I have massages in less than an hour, or he's gonna go first and then I'm gonna go an hour after him. But the area where the massages are is really nice, so I'm gonna just go hang out there. Here I go. I can't believe I have this area all to myself. It's kind of funny because the saunas, both of them, are completely, I mean, you can't really see because of the reflection, but they're like, they're just windows. So when people are in there, you can see into them. And the thing about the saunas here is that you go in completely naked. Like you're not allowed to wear a bathing suit. I mean, you can cover yourself with a towel if, if you don't feel comfortable, but no one really does that. Everyone's just naked. And I will say that it was a little bit weird in the beginning, but I'm used to it by now after living in Germany for, I mean, we're not even in Germany, but it's the same culture here. And yeah, it's definitely weird in the beginning, but now it's fine. Also, by the way, it's really funny because mostly everyone is speaking German here around this area. Like all of the signs are in German and Italian. It's kind of really cool. Like I had no idea, but I just wanted to share that. So we're back at the room. I just showered, as you can tell from my wet hair. And now Jacob and I are gonna go on a little nature walk, do a little forest bathing, if you will, down there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my phone here so you don't get to see what forest bathing entails, but um, I promise it's gonna be riveting, but not riveting enough for me to show you, or maybe so riveting that you can't handle it. So that's why I'm leaving you behind. Anyways, time for dinner. <gasps> nom, nom, nom. Are you excited for dinner? Yes. Me too. First course is a parsley root soup. Kohlrabi steak and potatoes and tagliatelle, garlic scape pesto. The final course, chocolate souffle and a scoop of vegan ice cream. And two scoops of ice cream for Jacob. Sadly, it's our last night here. I'm not able to go out on the roof terrace because the door is locked, but I'm gonna show you through the window. Look how beautiful. Those colors are. Are you getting in the back of my video? <laughs> oh, it's our final day here in South Tyrol, Northern Italy, and I'm very sad. It was way too short. Super relaxing and yeah. I can really recommend this place. It's called Saltus, S-A-L-T-U-S. What am I going to miss the most? I think I'm going to miss the breakfast the most. <laughs> and just being surrounded by nature and hearing all the sounds and the beautiful trees. I don't want to leave. So with that, I'm signing off. 